what I've been training for. I've been getting my body ready. I've been getting my mind sharp. I've been practicing my trailer watching skills. I've been watching a lot of trailers in preparation for the Spider-Man Homecoming trailer. And uh, finally, it's out. It's ready for me to watch. And I am ready to watch the Spider-Man Homecoming trailer. Three, two, one. Spider-Man. You guys aren't the real Avengers. I can tell Hulk gives it away. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> He's pretty strong. And that was awesome. Does Liz get a new top? No, we've seen that before. No one with that skirt. She probably stops staring before it gets creepy, though. Yeah. Too late. <laughs> You guys are losers. So to become an Avenger, are there like trials or an interview? Just don't do anything I would do. And definitely don't do anything I wouldn't do. There's a little gray area in there and that's where you operate. Oh. All right. That's not a hug, but I'm just grabbing the door for you. All right, kid. Good luck out there. Uncle Tony. Listen, I know school sucks. Peter, you still with us? Uh, yeah, yeah. I know you want to save the world. But you're not ready yet. You're the Spider-Man. No, I'm not. I'm not. This is just a costume. This is from the ceiling. Stay close to the ground. Spider-Man. He's been working out. Stay out of trouble. And forget the flying monster guy. There are people who handle this sort of thing. I'm sick of him treating me like a kid all the time. But you are a kid. This is my chance to prove myself. Peter, what is going on with you? I'm really sorry. I'm so busy. I'm slammed. Don't mess with me. Because I will kill you. Michael Keaton. Everybody you love. Evil Michael Keaton. It's like the train scene from Spider-Man 2. That was Iron Man and Spider-Man flying through the city. That was pretty cool. I love the tone of this trailer. They weren't lying when they said they were going to do a uh, coming-of-age movie, so kind of like a throwback to those 80s high school movies like Ferris Bueller's Day Off or The Breakfast Club. Um, so I think they should focus the movie on Peter, you know, trying to find that balance, doing really well in school and doing all that high school stuff and uh, also being Spider-Man and being a badass superhero and learning how to actually be a superhero. So showing Peter with that struggle, trying to find that balance, that'll be really cool. Um, and I think it's a really good idea for them to do a uh, do that coming of age movie. So showing him dealing with all that high school stuff and all the drama and feeling like the world's on his shoulders. So making a good coming of age movie with Spider-Man in it instead of just trying to make a Spider-Man movie like they did with the Amazing Spider-Man movies, and that's kind of sort of one of the reasons why those movies weren't that great, because they were just trying to make a Spider-Man movie. They should uh, make a movie that's uh, that's a good movie with Spider-Man in it. So a good coming-of-age movie, a good story around that with Spider-Man in it. If that makes sense, I think they're on the right track, and uh, I think they're doing the doing it the right way. Michael Keaton, dude, I didn't even know I wanted him to be the Vulture until they got him in the movie to be the Vulture. He's only in the trailer for like two seconds. But he looks really menacing. He looks really mean. He's a great actor. I think he'll do really well. And uh, I love his suit. It looks awesome. It's very mechanical. Um, and it's not an old guy with wings and a green unitard. No, it's uh, it's mechanical. It looks like it's made of Shatari tech, like the rumors have said. So it's a uh, leftover Shatari tech from the Avengers movie, the first one from Loki's army. And uh, that makes a lot of sense for them to do that. They're tying it back to the first Avengers. They're tying it all together. And hopefully the movie is uh, is pretty Spider-Man focused. Though. Hopefully they're not trying to do too many references to all the other stuff. Yeah, Tony Stark's in it. They're going to talk about the Avengers, obviously, because Spider-Man, he looks up to the Avengers. He's a young dude. He, he thinks they're really cool, and he wants to be a part of the Avengers. He's met most of them. So it makes sense for them to talk about the Avengers, but hopefully the movie is about Spider-Man and focuses on him instead of him talking about the references to all the other MCU movies the entire time. I'm also kind of getting an ultimate Spider-Man vibe with things, which is good because that's one of the better Spider-Man story arcs out there. 
Um, so if they can take some influence from that, that'll be really cool. Uh, the one thing that's really concerning me is uh, it didn't seem to have as much color. It didn't seem as bright uh, or as vibrant as compared to like the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 trailer that we got last week. That was a very bright and colorful trailer. It looked fantastic. It was a great trailer. Uh, I don't know if that's a James Gunn thing. I don't know if that's just intentional on Marvel's part because Guardians of the Galaxy, they're the space weirdos. They're out there. It's, it's colorful. It's cosmic. It's awesome. So I don't know if that's intentional or not. It just didn't. The Spider-Man trailer just didn't seem as bright. Didn't seem as uh, as popping as the kids would say. Overall, I thought it was a good trailer. I love what they're doing with Tom Holland as Spider-Man. Hopefully, he will end up being the definitive Spider-Man, the definitive Peter Parker on the big screen, and they will learn from their missteps in the past with Spider-Man movies. And this will be the guy. This will be uh, this will be the good Spider-Man franchise. And it's so cool to see him in the MCU interacting with uh, Tony Stark and all the other Marvel heroes in the MCU. That's just the way it was meant to be. It just feels right. And Spider-Man Homecoming as a title, I love it. Because one, he's in high school and uh, the dude's going to go to Homecoming and probably be really awkward about it. And two, he's back home, baby. He's with Marvel. The way it was meant to be. Thanks for watching. I'm Jared Cook. What did you think of the first Spider-Man Homecoming trailer? Tell me down below in the comments. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And see you. Bye.